Hi guys, welcome back to um, episode 2. So we just took Kasagus. Uh, I think we'll probably replenish for a round or two before we... Oh, we could, we could kill the king. We'll see. We didn't actually end the turn last time, so we can do that now. I think there's nothing much we can really do for now. Yeah, everything's done. Decent start though. I think we should try and kill the king actually, probably quite quickly, before he has a chance to uh, reinforce too much. Whoa, stay on. Oh, it was <laughs> bonus. Okay, wow, nice. The love of gold can um, stir evil in men. No, Give I don't like that. Gold. Avoid the evil it brings. No. You have no permission to enter my lands. Go away. Enemy wounded, okay. Cool. Hoping they would have been killed, but fair enough. Right, so supply foraging. Right, so enables. Ooh. War exercises warrior code or siege. I don't think siege is going to be too. Sorry, my phone is just constantly getting messages. Sorry. Um... <laughs> God. Shut up. Right, um. Yes, I think we'll probably leave Siege. I don't think that's going to be necessary. Um, we'll probably go for the War Exercises. Let's go Headhunt for now. What's this? Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. Right, Headhunt, let's do that. Bronze Forge and Proving Grounds, okay. Anything that can lead us to uh, better infantry is a good thing. So this guy's a legend, apparently. He's proven himself in combat. Well, counter spying at least. Let's go check out um, Istros. I'm assuming that's where the king, king just fled to. Yep. Looks like he disbanded a unit as well. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, we need to set up to do this one because we need some more public order here. Because it's getting uh, pretty nasty, minus 20. Not great. Yeah, there's not a whole lot we can do right now because money's obviously very tight. Um, one turn until we can get some better troops. I tell you what, we could probably do. Mm. What we might be able to do is just recruit some units um, with the king here, send him down, and just drop them off with the raging boars, um, and then send him back up because the public order here is not too bad. We can probably get away with a couple of rounds where he's not actually inside the city because um, I can't move this out this is the problem I can't move this anywhere because it's going to be uh, a big rebellion very quickly How can I help? so while waiting for the money to come let's just uh, do a bit of spying around Istros get the lay of the land I'm not here to burden you with demand. My offer is what we consider worth. Nope. Yeah, I'm not keen to give anyone military access right now because I'm pretty weak, to be honest. Um, I should just check diplomacy while we're sorting things out. Okay, we've got a friendly guy over here. Welcome. Good, 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 good. All trade. Oh, okay. We have Whoa. simple needs. All we ask is a small amount of wealth. I'm up for that. I just will need, want to trade with it. Friend, you have fearsome foes. No, we don't need help with the boy. Send away this guy's annoying. Why I isn't he? I fear my ancestors and spirits of the land will speak of their displeasure. It, his counter offers are completely the random. They're like talk, just preferring the axe's edge as an argument. So listen and then agree. The speech is far too long in this game. I think every time you do a new thing, it's just it's constantly happening. I think it's, it was fine when you're playing single player, I guess, but when you're recording, it's kind of annoying because <laughs> you're trying to talk and there's something happening over it. Okay, I don't want. Yeah, we're not doing major access. It seems to be this hit. Is troubling. Yeah, go away. Welcome, a worthy. My trade, okay. I thank you for the offer, but. We have non aggression, though, correct? 
Yes, Welcome. Good. My time is better spent feasting and hunting than. We'll keep trying with everyone around us because I want to secure you. up our uh, our borders now. So we should secure on west side here and east over here, but the, the northern side is not great. Yeah, we're gonna probably have problems over there at some point, but we'll see. We're not at war yet with anyone, apart from the boy, so that, that's something we've got going for us at least. Um, right, so we've just got... Let's upgrade you then. God, funds are a big problem. Ooh, Germanic Scout Riders, that could be... That could be good. It's the least amount of food, but it does give us another recruitment option, which would be useful. Cav especially would be very useful. Um, we do need some uh, mobility in the armies, which we don't really have right now. Have we got any? Ready for battle. No, we don't. Any cavalry at all? Oh, right, so let's get some better units. Let's have a look at what we've got then. So we've just unlocked the Round Shield Swordsman and the Blood Sworn. Okay. Both swords. Just trying to. The upkeep is the same. The initial cost is more expensive for the Round Shields. Base morale is much higher for the Blood Sworn though. Weapon damage is much higher for the swordsman, round shields. Bonus. Hmm. These guys have a bonus versus infantry though, which is good. I think honestly I prefer these, given the fact that they're gonna hold longer with the base morale. They're gonna have a bonus versus infantry, which is pretty much what we're gonna be fighting against the, the barbarian tribes at the moment. Um They've got better defense, better charge bonus. Um, health is the same. Yeah, I think they're, they're probably the better choice, and they're slightly cheaper to recruit as well. So, I think what we need to do is maybe get. Yeah, funds are a problem. We need to start sacking some places. We need to take um, Istros quickly. Oh, crap, he's recruiting. So, what we need to do now, we need to just get an army together, basically. Um, I think, before anything else. And possibly sack Istros before we get in there. Oh, it completes our province as well. Persinia. Okay. I think what I'll do is, yeah, the tilt, let's just get some. Let's get an army together first. We'll, we'll get a, the priority should be maxing this army out. Get a twenty stack, um, and taking Istros. And then after we get some funds, we can start building some more buildings. So for now, we'll just focus on pure, uh, pure army. I'm not going to recruit one yet, obviously, because that's an extra turn of upkeep we don't need. We've got to be fairly uh, efficient with the funds right now. Did you just try again to hurt that spy? It failed again. Okay, good. Alright, research is done again. So what can we expand? Again, boats are not of interest to me right now. We're not, we're not going to need boats this campaign, so that's fine. Um, animal imitation. Minus 50% up, mercenary upkeep. Minus 2. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So we want, we want blood swan. Four units, good. What's the upkeep? 88, so yeah, not bad. Essentially 300 per turn. Slightly more, but 330 probably. For the tribe. Not bad. I think we'll, so we'll have four in there. We can probably attack on the back of that. Possibly get, like, if we can afford a, a, maybe like one really good unit of infantry, that will help us fight, because obviously he's recruiting a few mercenaries as well. Celtic Warriors, they're not bad. They're, yeah, they're, they're not bad at all. Hoping the majority of you Levy Freeman, though. Ryan Oryx. Nice name, I like it.
I'm aware. I'm aware. Okay, so let's go drop these boys off. Um, let's take out one of the club levies. In fact, hang on, cancel that for a second. Let's merge these guys up first. Let's spam this one. Oops. Spam this one. And now we'll have these guys. Perfect. Alright, head back up north. Now, the issue here, I think, oh, actually, what we might be able to do. They're cheaper. I'm thinking of possibly just trying to sit in here. We'll send this army out and we'll we'll set a garrison in Kasurgis because the Fertum can hold for now. It's going to be a few turns before it actually starts rioting. This one's going to go very quickly, um, especially when this army moves out. So we have to just deal with that ASAP. Oh, he's got a full stack. Crap. It's going to scout the lands around us really. See what we can find. Double check our diplomacy. I want trade as a thing. What would trade be offer, worth for these guys? But we are not that 50. Okay. Weaklings. That's pretty minimal. I thank you for the offer. We have need of these talk, guys. 48. Sure Equally bad. We also <laughs> need good food. A warm fun. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. We'll keep trying, because any small amount of income per turn is going to be a bonus for us. Oh, they're moving out. Good. Okay. I prefer that. Obviously, fighting without the garrison of Istros is, is a good thing. Yep, yeah, I intend to. Oh, good. So we get inspiring, sorry, inspired endeavours, which does what? Public order. Perfect. And a bit of a treasury boost. Sounds good. So I guess we go for it. The slingers are a problem because we've got no cavalry to deal with that, which is annoying. Ready for battle. Yeah, it won't be easy actually. It won't be easy. We've got a lot of levy freemen, which are trash, but so are our, our forces. Six. Share my fire. For the all highest. He's surely going to be taking attrition, is it? Is he in the winter weather? Maybe not. Let's go set up somewhere. Where's our movement range thing? For the tribe. Okay, there you go. So I think it's 50% to set up uh, force fight. Yeah, okay. Let's do that and hopefully he attacks. We'll s and then we'll send this guy, the king, to hold Kasurgis while we. Fight with us. It's a good life. Okay. So I'm hoping happens here is if he, if he just goes for the attack against the Raging Bulls, that the ideal thing. So we should be able to hold that. It's always messy starting out the campaign. Particularly in this situation where we're, we're surrounded on all sides. It's very, very dangerous. The Kush was a bit easier because they had like, once you cleared out the south, you had pretty much, you know, one direction to go, really, north against Egypt. Um, so you're a bit safer than this one. Okay, the children are popping out <laughs> quick and... I like it. Rebel army, okay. We'll do that in a second. Um, so, advanced saddle, okay. Enables building stables, which I think, would that be the one after this one? Yeah, it would be. So horse pens and then stables, cool. That probably would be a good thing to do, actually. I like that. Let's do it. With a view, then, to build this as soon as we can. We've got the funds for it. So let's... Should we sit on this for one turn? Shit. Okay, now we can't take Istros because... Yeah, it's got a garrison of eight, it's got a full stack, plus it's got an extra one of six, so yeah, we can't do that now, unfortunately. That's a shame. We 
which we really do. So what we need to happen here, it needs to come out and attack us. We need to win it pretty cleanly, and then we need to counter-attack and hopefully take it. Um, we may even need the assistance of the king here. Just some more forces, I think. That might help get a double stack. And just risk losing the city, possibly. Yeah, we've got to just go full army right now. Oh, we don't like this. Ooh, why are you sitting on my border? You are not the friendly one. Non aggression, please? Nope. Of course not. Well met, friend. Our okay, any trade still? Welcome Probably not. That's gone to low now, okay, they really don't want to trade. Shame. These guys. For you. Nope, okay. That army's a bit scary because that could probably take us uh, this turn if it wants to. Hmm. Okay, the. The bar's against us, but I don't really see why. They have some cavalry, which is annoying. They have better range units, that's definitely for sure. They've got a couple of better units of infantry, but I think overall we should be okay. I think probably we'll fight this one this, this, this episode. Let's do it. Yeah, looking properly at the army, I don't think we're going to be able to... I'd imagine... I'd expect us to win this, but then... I don't think we're going to have the strength to then attack the city. I was doing some uh, recording before. I changed the... Bump it up a bit. There we go. Perfect. So in fact, if we're going to have a... Let's see this, because I think the club levy and the blood sworn are going to have bonus versus infantry. Yeah, so we'll use the spears on the, on the sides. For the inevitable cavalry attack. Let's keep the spare one here, keep the general back as well. It. So they attacked us, we can wait on this one. Wait for the attack. Here we come. Yeah, the one annoying thing really for me is they've got slingers instead of javelin men, so they can just sit back and hit us from range. We don't have cavalry, so we can't chase them off. Which is that. I think once they get close enough, we'll have to push forward ourselves and then force the engagement a bit. Because I can't sit back and take all the, uh, the missile fire. I think now we just push forward. Go. Let's force it. Good volley there. Under attack. Spears. Sons of Walden. Youth. Germanic youth. Battle ready. Ready. Warrior ready. ready. Order. We'll kill them all. Okay. How are we doing? Thin in the center, but we're we're surrounding them from a few sides here. So that's good. Getting some good hits on this bit as well. Let's kill as many levy can. Levy three as we can with these missile units. Nice. Let's try and engage these bloody uh, missile units. Club levy getting trounced in the middle. Okay, we're winning this side though. Good volley. Okay. I'm not particularly ready for the Osa one yet, I'll be honest, but... I'd imagine we're getting quite a lot of missile kills here, though. Done a really nice spot to shoot them. Okay, let's get some help on the back here, then. Get you over here, you over here. Let's keep you chasing the slings off. Oh, we got 
destroyed there by the Oaks, <laughs> as expected. Didn't lose a single unit, Ryan Oryx, monster. Oh, we actually caught one here, good. Nice, nice, nice. That's great. Okay, General's got to go in now, unfortunately. Put these guys back. Okay, we are breaking units though, which is good. Let's pull you out before the Oaks one can destroy you. Yeah. General should have that under control. We will pierce their heart. actually ran out of ammunition for these guys, so we'll just pull them safely away. Warriors. Warriors. It's looking good, it's looking good. We're breaking them in the right places. Okay, we might as well get the blood swan actually into the back of the oak swan here. So they have got an infantry bonus, so might as well use it. Back, warriors, back. Good volley. Alright, cool, we're breaking. We're breaking them. Right, let's get the. I want spears going after the slingers, and I want the oak blood swan on the general now. So they are our best chance at killing this thing. Get Jen around for buffs, and then we'll get the spears just chasing. Let's do it. Looks good, looks good. Ryan Oryx should be dead here. Oh wow, <laughs> just noticed these guys. <laughs> Come on lads, keep going. You'll get them eventually. This is why we need cavalry, because this will be this kind of job what we're doing now is be made a lot easier. We can just run them down and then quickly bring the cav back and do some hammer and anvil on the back of the infantry here, so. Yeah, I think we've got to get cavalry as soon as we can. I'm interested to, interested to see what the, uh, the units come out of the stables. Oh wow, we've broken them. That was easy. I think that was definitely the team to do the blood swarm there. Because in the previous battle for uh, Kasergus we were attacking the world with spears and club levy, so I think the blood swarm definitely did a, a job there against the Oaks one. Um, yeah, well no, that, I think. Good fight, good fight. Pretty much double kills. Carl's still going strong. like it. Yeah, Ryan Oryx killed 266 people there. Ouch. How did our Blood Swan do? Not bad. Yeah, pretty good. Definitely the best of the infantry. The Germanic U's got a few kills as well, so that's good. Yeah, one unit of uh, Blood Swan got 237. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Hmm. Do we do this? Wealth? No. Okay, no. Decent. Oh, okay. Who died? Was that Carl who died? Oh, thank you. That's that's a blessing. That is a blessing in disguise because we can get rid of these bloody woes in our spears. They're crap. <laughs> they really are. So now we can get some decent units. We can get sword masters or noble riders. Oh, that's a question. That is a question. My instinct is to go for sword masters because I want I want something to counter these Oathsworn. Then again, the noble riders would be useful. Yeah, we, we, yeah, I'm gonna go. Go sword masters. Who do we want? Ooh, Siegfried. His cunning skill, or Ingund. Whoa, hang on. Baldovin? Is that seven warrior? 
trait. I think it's Balavin. Let's do it. Oh yeah, champion would be great actually. That'd be perfect. Keep the army strong. Yes, Carl died. I didn't really actually. Wait, when did he even die? Because he, I didn't engage the. The only time the general unit got involved was when we charged forward initially, and it took some arrow fire. He died then. Really? Wow. If that's when he died, then I'm surprised we actually won the battle because we were. That was right at the start. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> it's a good thing though. That is definitely a good thing. We've got a better unit now in charge of our armies, so we could do with killing the <laughs> killing the king here as well. <laughs> Get a better unit. Okay, so we're replenishing. Um, let's definitely do this. We'll, we'll fortify on the border. Lads. Get better replenishment rate slightly. Um, okay, he's got a new general. I think we probably have to attack this now, because we're not going to be able to kill it after this. Celtic Warriors. Yeah, we'll just also do this one. Pretty close. Okay, the king. I don't really want to. Oh God, yeah. I don't. I want to kill him. <laughs> I do want to. I do want him to die. So what, let's, let's do this as well. Let's merge these armies. Let's save us some upkeep. Let's get rid of the club levy here. Let's just disband them. Let's recruit some decent boys. If we move out here, how else, how else that's going to be? Minus 14. Yeah, we can't really justify that right now. I think we just stick here. We Let's get some use. Let's get some more club levy, I think. Base morale. So actually, to be fair, if we're looking at the actual morale, they're, they're just the same as the spear levy. They're equally crap. <laughs> I think the only... I think they're the right choice given they are cheaper and also they've got a bonus versus infantry so the club level the way to go for the early compositions for the Swaby right now. How long are we talking? Seven turns, Jesus. I think we attack maybe on two or three turns of replenishment with support from the king and we'll try and kill, uh, kill the boy eye. But no, looking alright, it's looking alright. Had a good win against the boy eye there. The big danger here is this army here. So if this chooses to come south and hit Lepferd and we can't defend, um, we're going to be stuck with Kasergis then. But we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's looking alright. I'm enjoying it so far as well. It's, uh, yeah. I'm enjoying the unit, units of the Barbarians. It's obviously different to the, uh, the Kush. So yeah, it's a cool uh, contrast. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.